Hey boys, what's poppin'? Today we have an FPS guide for Lost Ark. I will make sure to add timestamps tomorrow or so, so you can navigate through the video easily and I won't be wasting your time. Just want to quickly mention that Lost Ark can use a decent amount of resources, so make sure you free up as much unnecessary clutter in your task manager as possible before playing it. And yeah, since it's a newer game, people with the PCs from early 2000s won't really be able to play it even with this guide. I'm sorry, but it's just time for an upgrade. If you're not using discord you should skip this part however if you are listen closely my child so discord happens to be this awesome platform i love it you love it but when it comes to potato pcs it can be very demanding to have it in the background especially with an overlay now this might sound funny to people with a decent ram slash cpus but i've experienced this i went through this it was terrible discord was making my game run like shit honestly not just league of legends but every single game i've played unless they were older games that my pc would run without a problem so there are two ways we can fix this first way is by shutting down discord completely on our pc and pretty much either have it on the phone if you'd wish the voice chat or text or the second way we can optimize discord to require less resources from our pc while we play let's get onto the desktop and i'll show you how to do it okay so first things first what you want to do is just simply open discord next up what you want to do is go to the user settings is this cogwheel right here next to your username and your hashtag number we want to go ahead and click there after that we're going to scroll down until we see game overlay and activity settings what we want to do is click on game overlay and make sure enable in game overlay is disabled the reason why i'm saying this is because this option is by the default enabled and it will take a decent amount of fps trust me on that one after that you want to click on advanced over here and make sure the hardware acceleration is off as you can see here it says turns on the hardware acceleration which uses your gpu to make discord smoother turn this off if you're experiencing frame drops so turn it off please anyway that's all you can do about that once again if you're having fps issues with any game i'd suggest turning discord off completely and using it on your phone which will give you the best result and for all of you addicts out there that just cannot turn off discord maybe an important e-date or something there is a simple solution that will help out at least 50 percent alrighty so next up what we want to do is update our drivers and windows talking about drivers it is mainly the gpu drivers let's get onto the desktop and update our windows and our drivers because that is very important kids first things first we're gonna update our windows the way we update our windows is simply by clicking on the start button going to settings clicking on update and security the first window that will pop up is windows update it's right here on the left bar so just make sure to click it in case it doesn't and click on check for updates and there we go we have one update to download it already downloaded that was pretty fast and now it's going to install and it did and it's simple as that for the bigger updates you might need to restart your pc so do not worry do not get scared if your pc hasn't been updated for a while especially you're going to have to restart your pc after that just make sure to restart your pc and the updates will apply after that what we want to do is update our gpu drivers the way you update your gpu drivers is for example if you have nvidia make sure to download nvidia geforce experience if you have amd make sure to download amd software adrenaline edition that's it so yeah make sure to download that so once you've downloaded nvidia geforce experience i'll make sure to leave down the link in the comment section below for both of the graphics card it should look something like this it's going to be in your bar do not worry this is a very great software if you have geforce card i have a geforce card so i cannot show you the amd way right now but in the future i'll be able to do it so do not worry about that it is pretty simple it's pretty much straightforward it's the same as this kind of just a different interface make sure you open geforce experience don't get too off the topic and click on drivers and we already have a driver that's ready to download i did not really update my gpu drivers shame on me but in case you don't see anything here make sure to click on check for updates if there is an available update it's going to appear down here under available make sure to click on download and it's going to start downloading so we're gonna wait for it to download and then you get a first-hand experience on how to install this beauty once the download is finished what you want to do is click on custom installation say yes uh it's going to say preparing to install and we'll make sure to select all the options that we can perform a clean installation this bar is for people that usually do not update their drivers very often i'd suggest doing this every once in a while what it means basically is that restores all the 
settings on your card whether that be amd or uh, nvidia to like default so everything is going to be default even the options you set in uh, the control panel for both of the cards i do not need to do this right now but if you do not update drivers regularly i'd suggest you do it so if you want to do it just yeah click here and click on install while the gpu drivers are installing your screen is going to go black for a second or two maybe twice even do not worry that's normal and also softwares that use your gpu might crash as well but as i said that is completely normal so do not worry about that this is just like a disclaimer or something so as you guys can see here it is finished it is going to say installation has finished you're going to go ahead and close this and now what we are going to do check for updates again just to be sure and it says you have the latest geforce game ready drivers and that's pretty much it now that we've done that what we want to do is go to our nvidia control panel or amd control panel both are the same thing pretty much and we're going to click on adjust image settings with preview and make sure you use the advanced 3d image settings after that, you're going to click on take me there simpler like that, or you can click on manage 3d settings. It is your choice and make sure to copy these settings right here. Now under the power management mode, what you want to do is click on optimal power here and put it to prefer maximum performance. After doing that, you want to scroll down to texture filtering quality. You want to click right there and put it on high performance as well on threaded optimization. Instead of auto, you want to turn it on. You want to click on apply. And that's pretty much it. Don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. There's another very important tip that will help you speed up the game and Windows itself. It is pretty good. What you want to do is click on File Explorer, right click on this PC or whatever you named your PC and click on Properties. After that, you want to go to Advanced System Settings. This little window will pop up. You see the performance tab all the way up. You want to click on settings right there and you get performance options. I'd like you to copy these settings. These settings are the ones that will save a nice appearance to your windows and also make it a lot faster. However, if you want, you can just click on adjust for best performance so that will disable all of these checkboxes, but your windows will look a tad bit uglier. If that doesn't matter to you, go ahead and do it. It will help you out a lot. I promise you, you'll see the changes instantly. And that should be pretty much it when it comes to optimizing your PC. And now finally, we're going to go ahead and run the game and tweak the in-game settings to the best settings for maximum FPS gain. Alrighty, so now that we're in the game, pretty much you don't even have to log in or enter the server you have the settings button below to the right we're gonna click there and it should bring us the video right away so on screen what you want to do is select borderless which is going to be on by default and you want to select the full screen because full screen is the most optimized mode you'll get the smoothest experience by using the full screen so just do it man afterwards we want to go to screen effects make sure texture quality is medium to low shadow quality low character quality medium particle quality low and anti-aliasing inactive of course course after doing all of these settings you're going to have to restart the game otherwise not all the changes will apply so better depth of field off indirect shadows off we don't need to touch auto optimization uh we're gonna make sure our bloom effect is off distortion effect off flare and monitor blur off hud size adjustment doesn't really matter so you do not need to touch that but this is pretty much it you're gonna click on apply and after that what you want to do is go ahead and restart the game once you've restarted the game that is pretty much it hope this guide helped you out have a great one and peace out